deficit. The issue here, number one, EPCO should not be involved in the domestic politics of this country. Okay? Now, EPCO was used by Ehud Barak. Okay? And Ehud Barak then came up with his One Israel policy in 1999. Now, they say now, well, uh, we did not advise uh, Ehud Barak on One Israel. Okay, it's a very strange coincidence. They have to explain. Then in 2009, Najib then also employed EPCO. And he said, well, this is a few months after he promote, uh, mooted the idea of uh, One Malaysia. Well, a few months is just too short. You know, you get the advice first. And, um, but it's also EPCO. Yeah, but you see, it's a strange coincidence that you have to explain. You see, you're not, you're not involved at all. Um, fair, you have to clarify that. And um, I will have to look how I would respond after looking at the, the, the arguments and the dates I'm checking. First, put it in the, in, in the context. I don't have a problem whether they have Jewish advisors or not. But they, it is AMNO. The Amno leaders, they'll be using this Jewish uh, connection, Jewish conspiracy, then Anwar is the agent of the Jews, that Hairi even mentioned that my tenure as the chairman of the foundation of the future was the appointment of the neocon Jew, uh, Paul Wolfowitz, the World Bank. So I then put him, uh, I mean, uh, I'll give the, give the facts. He refused to listen. I had to say, look, uh, you, you, you better behave. I mean, you ask a question, let me answer. Don't start shouting and using the parliament, thinking, uh, assuming that your father-in-law is still the prime minister. I had to say that. Then when he um, then sat down, so clearly arrogant, and the speaker just ignored. It's unlike the Islam or state speaker. Uh, <clears throat> but, but then I explained. I said, first, the foundation of the future is not, nothing to do with the World Bank. It is an, uh, an organization set up on the advice of foreign ministers of EU, Turkey, Jordan, Qatar, the United States. So the appointment made by them. Okay. And it's actually uh, freedom in the Middle East. Okay, probably they didn't have a consensus who the Arab is going to be a chairman, so they appointed me. I resigned because uh, when I decided to contest in the elections in Pramatam Pau, so they were using this. Anwar is a friend of the Jews, of Paul Olfovis. So I said, look, but you appointed EPCO. You paid Jack Abramov. Now Jack Abramov is the you know, Jewish lobbyist who cheated the uh, Red Indians over the casino deal and now in jail. And we have been evidence that the Malaysian embassy in Washington paid him so that Mahathir could have a, you know, meetings with President Bush. So that is the extent they were prepared to go, you know, to pay not only uh, you know Jews but nasty Jews. If they befriend good Jews, I'd have no problem with that. Now and then, that's why I took up. I responded. I said, "Look, you paid Jacob Rabb. Oh, that is in evidence. And now I you use Epco. And Epco, I mean, became a powerful public relations entity." when they were recognized by the state of Israel and appointed as a consultant. Uh, and I, I, this is the context of my response. Okay? And uh, they have very prominent Israeli uh, leaders as in the board. It's not just Jews. Yeah? And, and some of them even Zionists. You used to have to differentiate. Today. Let me just respond briefly on this issue of the Jews, you know. When they attacked me ferociously on my relationship with Bob Rubin or Jim Wolfensum, who was there in the meeting with Al Gore and Mary Robinson this afternoon, uh, because he happens to be a Jew, and my response was clear. I'm a friend of many Jews, and I, do, I make no apologies. Uh, and um, even with Paul Wolfowitz, uh, but I differ with him strongly on the um, uh, occupation or the attack on, on, on occupation of Iraq. I said that I, I, there's no basis for the American military forces to be in Iraq. Uh, but but what, when I so I attacked them for the hypocrisy. They attacked me for uh, you know becoming friends of Jews 
where I admit, I make no apologies, but they use not only Jewish, but some Zionists. There's a difference there. Uh, so that was the context. But you know, the, the way it was reported was uh, uh, even in the uh, somewhat more objective uh, media was not very, I think, uh, uh, correct in the, in the context of what happened. Um, so I think, I think uh, thank you for, for you know, allowing me at least to, to explain and clarify the issue. Because it's very important, we should not. My difference with Mahade, when he had started attacking the Jews, was this. You know, you can't, because in Islam, you can't be racist or anti-Semitic. You should condemn, I mean, you should, because uh, Zionism is a state ideology. And, and uh, the aggression and the injustice perpetrated against the Palestinians. That's a different issue we should condemn. But we cannot uh, condemn Jews. And um, as I said, they're good Jews, they're bad Jews, they're good Muslims, they're bad Muslims. Um, similarly, you know, the way, the way they, they attacked me for walking out, actually, I had to leave because I have to prepare and come <laughs> to take a flight to London. That's one. But secondly, when I was having the floor, I allowed the uh, AMNO and BN first to uh, ask questions. I, I gave them the floor. With almost without exception, you know, they they attack me and even highly abuse me over Paul Rofovis. I gave him a chance. Then I clarified. But when this um, Zaharian spoke and just blurted out like you know, crazy, I we stood up. We we're not given a chance to say anything. So there's no point for me to listen if you don't give me a chance to even interject, to ask. So there is a difference there. So I said, there's no point in my stay. You just blurt out, you know, can say anything, uh, protected by the house, the speaker. And of course, of course speaking with yes, I'm no. He has never had a floor, by the way. You know that? This Zarin had not used a floor. Only now, pre reading from a prepared text uh, by Amno. And uh, so I left because of that. But it was already about uh, five, or, you know, that, uh, I, and, and I thought, uh, okay.